Hi everyone, I'm JD from Willow Bound Journals. Welcome back to my channel. Alright, continuing on with this series where we're making a boho journal together. We are at the stage now of adding our pockets and I'll show you how I lay them out. So this is my template one, the journal that I already made so I can follow it along. And all I've done is I've gone through this journal, cut out all of the pockets from the kits. So the boho kit and the French vintage French envelopes kit. I've gone out and cut the pockets already so you can see that's the same pocket as that one there and all I do I'm going to just show you different ways that I lay out the pockets and cut them. So for example this one I'm just going to cut here. So I don't really measure anything um, I just look at the picture itself and go where do I want to keep the picture and I want to cut that bit off because I want to have that as the focal image there so there's my first pocket and some people will want to use paper clips just to paper clip, clip them in place I don't bother with that but if you want to you definitely can if it's easier but I just lay it there and turn the page <laughs> so then we go to the next page and I can see that this is our next pocket I've already pre-cut it here we go but what I've done I've only cut it out as it is in the kit and I'll show you how I then cut them out to fit the page so I wanted to make them bigger rather than smaller so that if you have a big journal you still got a full-size pocket hopefully but you can always cut it down if you want you can't well you, you can make it bigger I suppose if you resize it yourself so all I want to do is cut off the top there just that little top edge like that so you can see now that fits there as a pocket so that is now a side pocket now what I want to do is balance out these pockets so I'm going to have some pockets that are bottom pockets some that are top and some that are side so that it's not too bottom heavy and all the pockets are all down here so that it's really thick at the bottom I want to balance out these pockets so that it's a nice even thickness all along the journal so I'll know to sew that one later hang on a second let's not get ahead of ourselves we're up to here so <clears throat> we have our first vintage French envelope now I think I made a mistake when I was talking about the materials I can't remember that far back when I filmed that video but I do print these out twice once on the thicker 200 GSM paper if it's going to be um, journal cards but if I'm going to use it as a pocket I just print it on a Oh my goodness, I'm so sorry, I got a phone call and so it cut off the film video, so I'm not sure where I got up to. Um, <laughs> if I repeat myself, I'm sorry. If I cut something out, I'm sorry. But yeah, I was just talking about how um, I'm cutting out the vintage French envelopes, 80 GSM if I'm making a pocket, um, 20 GSM I printed out on 20, 200 GSM sorry, paper, so it's heavier if I'm making um, a journal card or tag so I just cut down this edge so that will fit here what I'm doing with the pockets is I'm kind of placing them with the different things so if I've got a boho feature page I'll put a French envelope to just balance out the colors so we've got some neutrals along with the um, color all right so next I can see that this is another way to embellish so I've just got this little uh, not little <laughs> vintage French receipt the one left over from the kit and I will just paper clip that in here later on so I can actually just leave that one out because we're focusing on the ones that we're sewing first of all okay so next I've cut out this one and I, I hope I'm not going too fast so you can see which ones you need to get but you can always you know replay this video pause when you need to um, so hopefully you've already pre-cut all of your pockets and now it's just a matter of finding which one to go where and then cutting them down to size. So I just want to cut off the top of this one and that pocket can go there. Now I can see that I'm a little bit wonky so let's straighten that pocket up. So we've got a straight edge at the top, there we go. Alright, so next one, I'm basically putting a pocket on every single coffee dye page. So I've got this envelope next um, and I think I did end up using the envelopes from 
the kit in my Etsy rather than the second kit that I had formatted. I think I gave that option um, a formatted kit, but with the formatted kit, I didn't use as many of the envelopes. So what I did was for the pockets, I used some um, from the original kit in my Etsy. So that one fits nicely there already. So if you're looking at this and going, I don't have that envelope in my kit. It's the one that's in my Etsy that has all of them. Okay, so yeah, forgot about that, sorry. <laughs> I've got so many details I'm trying to remember. Okay, so next we have a pocket here. And I've cut out this one with the green and the blue and the sequins. So I know I will need to cut off quite a decent amount here to fit. There we go. Turn the page and then we've got our next pocket here. Sorry about that, another interruption with the filming. This is going to be a fun video to edit. Um, I'm not sure again where we're up to but I, I hope you can see here um, that yeah I'm using a different envelope here so that's just what I was saying before about how um, some of the envelopes might be a bit different because I was using a different kit um, or the full kit from my Etsy rather than just the one that I had formatted. So let me just cut this one down to size. So yeah you don't have to do the exact same layout as me you can just print off if you got the formatted kit you just can print that off twice if you want and it doesn't matter if you use two of the same envelopes but my idea with with this journal was to not use two of the same and or just to use what I had in the um, printed version on the 80 GSM <laughs> so okay uh, I'm not sure if this is making any sense but this is why it's such a more complicated journal when we're working with an embellished journal and why it's just a, a lot harder to film but that's okay we'll get through it hopefully you can follow along easily enough now I do leave one page blank here we're not going to sew anything on because I like having different looks of embellishments so some pockets and some things that are tucked in or things that are paper clipped in so that's why there's a blank page because sometimes I will leave uh, I won't leave any pages blank and I'll put sewing on every page and then at the end when I bind it I realize oh I forgot to leave a page blank so I, I can paper clip something in. So I think I leave two pages blank so that I can do that. And then we'll keep on going. And now we're going to sew on this page. And I've got this pocket. So I've got that way. And then main frame. Okay, so we'll just go here. And I just want to cut off a little bit of the top. Like that. So there's a pocket there, turn the other page, and you can see as well, I haven't matched up the receipts exactly the same either. Um, every journal is unique, <laughs> um, never quite the same, So, but I'm trying to make it as close as possible so it's easy to follow along. So here's another type of pocket that we can do, instead of a side, top or bottom, we can do a corner pocket. So what I would do... How have I done this? I've done it like that. All right, again, I do not measure. I will just eyeball it and go like that. So there's my corner pocket there. And then what I want to do is balance that out. So if I have a pocket at the bottom on one side, I try to put the pocket um, the opposite on the other side so that it's not too bottom or top heavy. So here we go. I'll just get my corner pocket cut here like that. There we go. All right, so let's keep going to the other side. Now I actually have um, a flap fold here which I didn't have in the original so I can either cut that off or maybe I can do like a secret pocket underneath. Let's do that just for something a little bit more tricky. <laughs> It's kind of fun when you can open it up and it's like, oh, secret pocket. All right, so that's that one. And then this is the one that had the paper clip. 
And so the next one that we have a pocket is this one. So I will grab you. And I think I have to cut you down. Whoops, it's a very large envelope, so cut that down even more. There we go. All right, keep on going. Whoops, went too far. Okay, so here, this one is a top pocket, and I will match that up here so that it fits. There we go. Next. Okay, so we've got a bottom pocket next. And I'll just trim that down a little bit. So there we go. Next we have a side pocket. So hopefully you've been able to see that I haven't put two top pockets next to each other. When you flip the page and get to the next pocket, it's always a different look. Corner pocket, top pocket, bottom pocket, side pocket. <laughs> and we've got a little side pocket here. And I will just trim off the top as well. Doesn't matter if you trim too far, you can see that I probably trimmed that uh, a bit more than I was planning to, <laughs> but that's okay. It's still a side pocket. And then, oh, this is one where we've got some stuff paper clipped. But then we have this one here. And we'll place, hang on a second, where am I up to? Just here, okay. So we'll cut that down. end went down here <laughs> all right so then we've got a top pocket and that is not straight at all my goodness let's try that again okay now we have this one I'm going to trim off a little bit from the bottom there we go and one last pocket Whoops. on this side so it's this one here and I've gone for symmetry this is my favorite piece in the kit because of those jewels so I put one at the front and one at the back to end it with my favorites so I will just cut off about here trim off a tiny bit more okay like that all right so that is how I add my pockets and how I think about placement and all that kind of thing so all I will do now is take that to my sewing machine and I will sew on each of these pockets so all I do is go page by page and I'll sew you on then I'll sew you on then I'll sew you on and then I'll sew you on and then I will put back in and then I will keep on going and I will take you out and then I will sew do 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 <laughs> and so yeah it is a bit finicky you gotta make sure everything's in the same order remember where you place them and again I'll just remove this, take this one out, put this one back, put this one in, keep on going page by page like that. So yeah, um, I will do that off camera. I wish I would be I could film my sewing, but I don't have the setup to be able to film the sewing machine. All you'll see is just the top of it. <laughs> um, so when you come when I come back, what you will see is all of everything sewn in. And then what we'll do is bind the journal and then I will show how I add ephemera and I'll show how I cut these into 
um, well not those ones, those ones are already cut, how I cut these into either journal cards or tags. And we'll go through that process, paper clip things in, and yeah, hopefully it's easy to follow. <laughs> I'm so sorry if it isn't. I feel like it's a bit all over the place and hard to see um, because there's just so much going on. This is yeah a more intermediate level. It's uh, quite <laughs> confusing and complicated for me even just to um, communicate what I'm trying to show you so I, I just hope it all translates on your end but if you have any questions just um, comment below happy to help out um, and hope you are happy with the journal that you make <laughs> thanks guys for watching I'll see you in the next video bye guys